Taurus, hello. Amanda here. Welcome to the Unseen Hands Collective. This is going to be your April 2021 shift reading. We're looking at the shape you're shifting out of this month, the shape you're shifting into, and what that shape shift looks and feels like. So Taurus, this is only the, the tarot portion of your April shift. We also have an astroscope and a guidebook to help you more personally work through the insight that, that is coming through this month. So make sure you get your full shift experience at our website, unseenhandscollective.com. So my friends, onto the tarot portion of things. The image that's coming to me for you this month is a hippo, which is funny because the hippo has been coming through for Aries. It came through last month's Aries reading, and here we are entering into Aries season and the hippo is front and center. Um, and it also came through a Scorpio reading forever ago, uh, maybe like November, last November or even the November prior. So those of you that have been following along, you can go back and do that deep digging. But um, speaking of deep digging, the hippo opened its mouth and showed me a cavity all the way in the back of one of its molars. And this story of dental work is playing out in your cards. And I I'm taking it metaphorically, although I suppose it could be literal for some folks. But here we're seeing the Page of Swords as the shape you're shifting out of and the Three of Wands as the shape you're shifting into. So essentially there's some sort of deep, there's some sort of information, new information that's coming in, um, new insight, something like that, that's coming in and creating this um, excavation process, this deeper dive, which is then somehow changing your vision for the future, changing how you are approaching things from then on. And here's, here's how I'm seeing this. This is coming through quite literally as a dental drill. I'm so sorry. I hate teeth just as much as the next person. I, I except I suppose dentists and dental workers, but here we are. <sighs> And it's uncomfortable, you know, like the, the part of the reason people hate this, hate talking about teeth and talking about dental work is it's incredibly uncomfortable. And that's kind of the point of this whole reading is that there's something that maybe needs your attention that you've been avoiding because it would be really uncomfortable, not only to look at it, but then to go through the process of repairing it and fixing it just like a cavity. You know that, you know something's not right in your tooth, but you don't want to go to the dentist because you don't have the money to fix it, or you know what they're going to say, and you don't want to go through that kind of procedure. So you just kind of keep dealing with it, keep dealing with it, keep dealing with it until you can't anymore. And so maybe that energy is coming through for you here in April where something seriously needs your attention now. And so, um, you know, here it is going in and, and, drilling down into what is beneath, what is beneath the surface, what has been perhaps eating away at things, decaying, because that's what cavities are, it's decay over time. So whatever this is has been sort of decaying over time or like eating away at you over time and has to be acknowledged now. And it's interesting because when we were talking through your cards with um, my cohorts, Kevin and Kelsey at The Collective, Kevin was really seeing this as being related to your 12th house in astrology, which is the space of the unconscious. It's a space that is really hard for some of us to access. And, and it's stuff that we can feel, but we can't necessarily understand it consciously unless we very intentionally go there and try to do that kind of excavation. So that really could be related to what's happening for you astrologically. I'm sure Kevin will have a lot more to say in your astroscope. But the next card coming out after this, after the drill, <laughs> comes in and begins to expose what needs your attention here and what needs repair. And you know, like getting a cavity filled sucks because you have to even cut, a, you, in order to make sure you get all the decayed parts, you have to cut into the, the solid parts of the bone. You know, um, you have to make a pretty big hole in order to prevent it from continuing to decay even after you've repaired it. I don't know, this is sort of intense, but it's, it's really 
digging things up in the process. And this feels like Saturn, by the way. You know, we're talking about bones and teeth, which are associated with Saturn in the zodiac. Um, Saturn is in Aquarius right now and has been squaring Uranus in your sign all of 2020. You know, this is an aspect that will continue through 2021. So it makes sense that Saturn energy is coming up for you and that there's this like, you know, Saturn is the planet of, of being an adult and doing the heart, facing the hard things that we need to do that we just have to take responsibility for. And that's what this feels like is you have to face this now and you can't really avoid it any longer and you have to take responsibility for doing something to repair it. And so the very next card coming out is strength because again, this is a really uncomfortable process. And beautifully, Kevin sort of made this whole reading click for me when she she called the strength card anesthesia. So, okay, here we are at the dentist chair. You know the drill has to come out. And so to make the process um, a little more comfortable, and not only that, but to actually do the deep work that needs to be done, it's like you need to get knocked out, Taurus. Like you need to be anesthetized so that your conscious mind is not aware of this process and so that some stuff can come up from the unconscious. And that's how I'm seeing this Seven of Cups and that's how Kevin really brought that forth to me is like all of, once you are knocked out, your dream space can wake up. Your unconscious can come into the, to the forefront and it's almost like you, the Seven of Cups is showing you all of the things in that have been happening in your depths, beneath your conscious experience for some time now. And it's like you gotta get knocked out to be able to fully feel into and see everything that you've really been feeling and everything that needs to be revealed to you now. And you know, this is kind of the process of like, you start digging and like a lot of stuff comes up, you know, and, and the cups are an emotional suit. So it could be like a lot of emotional stuff coming up for you and, and bubbling up to the surface. It could feel overwhelming. The seven of cups can be uh, an experience of overwhelm, but again, luckily you're kind of knocked out for it. So you can let your conscious mind um, get out of the way and let your unconscious process everything that needs to be processed, you know, maybe through like anesthesia dreams, you know, it's like you, and then, and then we move right from the seven of cups into the king of cups. And again, I gotta, I gotta credit Kevin for helping this reading really come to life. It's like you wake up from anesthesia, you know, you wake up from those anesthesia dreams and you're like, I got it. Oh my gosh, I just had the most profound dreams. I just had the most profound realization. Here is the King of Cups. And luckily it seems that you are able to go through this process of distilling everything that comes up through this excavation process into one, one like tangible, emotional piece of understanding. And then the King of Cups is, you know, to finish this reading here, moving towards a different way of visioning for the future based on everything that came up through this perhaps uncomfortable, but very necessary excavation process. And then it's like you, you get to create a new vision for the future because you were able to truly acknowledge what you've been feeling deep down. And um, if you can't fully acknowledge everything that you're feeling and everything that's going on, you'll end up repeating the same cycles or doing the same thing over and over again um, but this reading, I think, is really about letting your unconscious speak so that you can acknowledge what needs to be acknowledged and move forward in a different way, in a way that perhaps is more right for you. Because it seems like you're on the precipice here. We see this person standing at the verge. Um, it's like you're on the verge of a really big change. You're on the verge of something maybe entirely new. You know, we see the, the sun rising, a new horizon, a new earth for you, Taurus, a new world. It's like you wake up from this dental work and you see the world completely differently or you're ready to create a whole new world for yourself. Or even you're waking up and, and the world you knew is totally different, is totally changed. 
So this is exciting. This is a very interesting reading. I'm looking really forward now to diving deeper into this in the extended reading, pulling other cards and see what kind of clarity we can get for your April shift. So if you'd like to join me for that, click the link in the description that will take you over to the website Unseen Hands Collective. You can find the extended in the shop and also through our monthly memberships. And there will be a little preview of what we get into in the extended at the end of this video. So Taurus, thanks so much for being here. Take care. Here, bringing that dragon, bringing those flames that clear a path. You know, you see this um, big old ram riding a motorcycle barreling through. You're going to get out of the way. You're going to clear a path for this kind of rebellious energy, the kind of energy that shakes things up and says, no more business as usual, we're going rogue, you know? And this is um, very Uranian. Again, Uranus in Taurus square Saturn. That is this reading for me to a T. I think the second one happens in June, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but we also see, is this a poppy flower? Which is so funny because it's like, again, this energy of like anesthetizing, anesthesia, like time for everybody to go to sleep. It's like, put you to sleep so that you can, to sleep perchance to dream. And in that dreaming, get this vision for the future that is new. Wow, this reading's fascinating. those around you, you're thinking about the things that have held you thus far and the beliefs that you've come to know because of the things that have been right in front of you. Because remember, we've been talking about lift your head up, Taurus, lift your head up and see out beyond your little 10 by 10 patch of whatever it is you're looking at. You know what I mean? So it's, it's really this energy of making it's like the universe is helping you make new thought pathways make new pathways in your mind make space so that you can get a new vision because